Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammad Inzamam from Sai Med Exit Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. In this very video, we are going to be talking about the most awaited notification that is AE and AEE. Assistant Engineer and Assistant Executive Engineer for Civil Engineering Students, guys. Diploma complete in a AE job, BTEC complete in a graduation complete in a AE job for civil students, guys. This is a notification TSPC, Telangana State Public Service Commission, already notification. And the Manago Rabotuni, AE notification uh, uh, web note has been given around 1500 posts are there, guys. That's up VE plus and one VE post on a mind logo to red call. Sorry, VE post low Managals in Okatoka post of post travel. Already coaching and start type. We are having what three sessions, guys. Daily manago offline coaching already start type as soon as possible, guys. Scrolling on our mobile numbers, contact JND and details will be given to you at your phone itself. So, morning session one, session two, and session three. Three sessions low full day classes and manago run Jadam Jarutani. Sir, session one of chess are morning six a.m. Ninchi nine a.m. Vargo. Session 2 is 9.30 inch around 1 pm. Session 3 is 2 pm inch afternoon session, guys. This is uh, afternoon session 2 pm to 6 pm. That is almost 4 hours, 4 hours. Good to welcome my dear students. This is the institute. This is the institute. 150 marks non technical part. 150 marks technical part. Assistant Executive Engineer Examination. Celebus. Sir, non technical, technical. Technical loches sir, ki detail ka classes jaru thene onta gani. Non technical loches sir, ki Saturday, Sundays gani. Like but the last loka one month gani, thirty days loka gani. Celebus na the motam complete chedam jaru thene. Gani atla gado. Sai me da koti Hyderabad do daily session two loches sir, ki technical jaru thene. Session three lo non technical. Session two two loches sir, ki non technical jaru thene. Session three lo manako technical examination, technical syllabus ani di ivadam jaru thene. Schedule ani di ivadam jaru thene. Ante daily you will be completing technical. Technical and as well as non technical in a full day class, guys. Gurthavet Kony, my dear students, technical, non technical complete Jedam Gadu. Everything complete out on the other Gurthavet Kony. First of all, video lectures, first of all, class under the Manaku. Class Ipanatarata, bit to bit explanation under the explanation Ipanatarata, class loan a revision Jedam Jaruta, and at last, a simple exam is going to be happening over that particular topic. And a topic this Kuna Sare, topic is someone in a class Ipotuni, bit to bit explanation out on the Tarata. Manam enta varku nearest kora manadi revision and class anadi jaru thundi manku last year the end of the class guys you will be writing the examination and you will be knowing how much we have already learned enta varku manam nearest kora manam examination rashna manu thelu sare so session two lo non technical an kunte session three lo technical session three lo technical an kunte session session two lo manam technical an kunte session three lo non technical ane technical ne non technical rendu manaku okay the rojulo ne complete out thundi my dear students gurthu bad kani the most important session is what this morning session session one. Session 1 is session 2 low, session 3 low, and the complete out to know. session 1 low, Miku bit to bit explanation and the Chedam Jaruta. Revision classes Jedam Jaruta, exam conduct Jedam Jaruta. Manu, I'm a doubt and a doubt clarification just for Anki. Morning session look at me, catch the time, spend jail so tell. Good to welcome my dear students. Even the Gamanam preparation start just a Saime the Koti Hadrabad, Alumi Kitchena, okay, schedule and then we'll correct the follow just a definitely, guys, a VG post low. Okay, post in the Kachitangamango, Ocheo Kashamunda. Good to wait, Kony, my dear student in Kachalamani plan just called it. Already coaching start a penny, regular classes, Nursuna, nice. I'm the good Hyderabad though. Make a detail cover another scrolling on the mobile number, contact JND and take your decision as soon as possible. Now, in this very video, we are going to be starting a new subject that is hydraulics, fluid mechanics, and Jabkutamanam, AE and as well as AWE law, Renit law common syllabus under the extension part. We are going to be learning, guys. So, in this very video, the first chapter that we are going to start is fluid properties. Everything subscribe just the channel. Press the bell icon to be notified for the further more update guide and subscribe the channel. And you can regularly update the videos. This is the class 1 we are going to start now. Thank you very much. Let's start the video now. So, observe here. This is the first topic that we are going to start. The topic is fluid properties, hydraulics, fluid mechanics, class 1, viscosity. Viscosity, what is the question provided here? First of all, let's talk about the viscosity standard formula, which is based on Newton's law of viscosity. What is Newton's law of viscosity formula? Newton's law of viscosity states that shear stress is directly proportional to rate of shear strain, rate of angular deformation or velocity gradient. Tau is directly proportional to dv by dy. Tau would be equal to mu into dv divided by dy. Based if the velocity profile is linear, we can write this formula tau is equals to mu into v by y. 
वेर टाउ इज द शेयर फोर्स एक्टिंग पर यूनिट एरिया एफ डिवाइडेड बाई ए दट इज ईक्वल टू म्यू इन टू वी डिवाइडेड बाई वाई एंड एट लास्ट वट विल बी द फॉर्मुला फॉर एफ एफ इज इक्वल टू म्यू इन टू ए इन टू वी डिवाइडेड बाई वाई दिस इज द फॉर्मुला दट एवरी वन नोज अबाउट न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ विस्कॉसिटी इफ यू डोट नो यू हैव टू नोट इट डाउन नाउ इट सेल वाइज ओके सो दिस इज द हिंट फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम द पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू ट्राई दिस प्रॉब्लम जस्ट पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन यूर ओन नाउ ओके नोट डाउन दिस क्वेश्चन now let's see how to solve this question by means of this uh, particular formula itself what is the formula name newton's law of viscosity where f is the force mu is dynamic viscosity a is area of the contact v terminal velocity or uh, what you can call as uh, velocity of the plate uh, y is the thickness of the lubricating oil okay if you want i'll draw the diagram also this is the plate which is going to move with the velocity of v of having a surface area a over some fixed plate uh, which is separated by oil having a thickness of how much uh, y okay then what is the formula now we can see f is equals to mu a v by y how much amount of force with which it is going to move area dynamic viscosity terminal velocity and uh, thickness y is the thickness okay so this is the formula now observe the question what is he saying in the question in the question he is saying is a thin plate of lamina area a and weight w slides down a fixed plane inclined to the vertical at an angle of alpha that means this is an inclined plane question for an inclined plane what we need to know about uh, sir this is the inclined plane let's say this angle is equals to theta okay let's say angle is equals to theta this is the weight uh, w you need to know the inclined plane concept and here we are going to have the component of the forces the component of the forces is going to become if this is theta this is also theta weight component is adjacent component w cos theta and this is going to become w sin theta when theta is with respect to theta is with respect to horizontal this is the formula okay but here in the question a small twist has been given what is the twist angle is with respect to what you can observe here vertical angle is with respect to vertical now the now the diagram which is there let's try and understand suppose this is that uh, area which is going to be separated with some lubricating oil lubricating oil having a thickness of how much t lubricating oil having a thickness of t and it's going to slides down with respect to vertical its angle is how much uh, alpha so this horizontal angle is going to become 90 minus alpha so the force with which it is going to move down force with which it is going to move down what is that formula w sin theta what is the theta here 90 minus alpha so the force with which it is going to move down is going to become w sin 90 minus alpha 90 minus alpha is what uh, cos alpha so the formula with which the force with which it is going to move down is what now w cos alpha we can write here observe w cos alpha is the force lubricating layer thickness is how much t weight is going to become vertically downward that is w this is a w cos alpha what is the force formula force formula is f is equals to mu into a into v divided by y now can you able to tell me with how much amount of the force this body is going to slide over the lubricating oil thickness of t force is how much what is the force value w cos alpha dynamic viscosity is mu only area is given in the question as what a only v is the terminal velocity is asking in the question terminal velocity is how much so v is the question y thickness of the lubricating oil thickness of the lubricating oil gap is how much t so v is the asked question velocity v equal to what is the formula going to become now w cos alpha divided by mu a t observe here it's now by t right so mu a v by y so this is by t so by t is going to be in the numerator so what is the formula t w cos alpha right now correct t w cos alpha divided by mu a observe in which option we have the correct answer t w cos alpha mu a t w cos alpha t w t w cos alpha by mu a so which one of the following is going to be the correct answer option c in order to solve this problem first of all we need to know about what is the viscosity formula newton's law of viscosity viscosity is the resistance to flow of a body over a particular fluid that resistance uh, we have got the shear stress shear stress is directly proportional to velocity gradient 
and at last the formula we need to memorize is f is equals to mu a v by y where f is the force inclined plane concept this is what we need to know if with respect to horizontal it is theta it is going to become w cos theta w sin theta now the angle is given with respect to horizontal or with respect to vertical vertical the angle is given alpha so horizontal angle going to become 90 minus alpha that is the only small twist in this problem okay with one more problem we will see in the next slide just pause the video and note it down observe the next question over the board in this question again viscosity concept we have seen question is given as at a certain point in castor oil the shear stress is tau is given as shear stress is 0 0.2158 uh, newton per meter square or let's say it is pascal okay and the velocity gradient that is dv by dy is equals to 0 0.22 per second dynamic viscosity mu is equals to dash times of uh, g he is asking the question mu is equals to dash times of g where g is equals to how much 9.81 g is equals to 9.81 but the given question is answer must be in terms of what a poise answer must be in terms of poise to solve this problem the hint i would like to give it to you is first one what is the first unit one pascal second equal to 1 newton per meter square second is equals to 1 kg per meter second is equals to 10 gram per centimeter second is equals to 10 poise is equals to 10 poise so these are all equal to each other similarly 1 poise is equals to 1 poise is equals to 10 is going to the left hand side 10 power minus 1 pascal second or 0 0.1 pascal second okay understood or not so 1 pascal second is equal to how many points 10 points this is the hint uh, i would like to give you for solve this problem okay pause this video and try to do it problem on your own okay okay now let's solve this problem how it's going to look like in the previous question itself, I have told you the relation tau is equals to how much mu into dv divided by dy. What is the tau value given in the question? 0 0.2, 0 0.2158 is equals to mu into what is the dv by dy given in the question? dv by dy 0 0.22, 0 0.22. If you divide this 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.22, around 0 0.9 you are going to get the answer. So, mu value is equals to 0 point some 9, uh, 98 or 0 0.986 something, okay. I will be taking this value as 0 0.98 because we know that this is 2 1 times, this is 2 11 times, okay. By 10, by 100, 10 ones are, 10 tens are, approximate answer is 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.22. It is going to be written as 2 by 10, it is going to be written as 22 divided by 100. This 0, this 0 gets cancelled. 2 ones are 2, 11 are. 11 by 10 is how much 1.1 .1. or you can reverse it also it is going to become 10 divided by 11 10 divided by 11 is going to become around 0 0.9 something right so 0 0.9 is go 8 is going to be your answer so this answer is given in terms of what a pascal second how to convert the pascal second into poise 1 pascal second is equals to 10 poise so this answer is going to become how much now mu is equals to 0 0.98 into 1 Pascal second is 10 poise, 10 poise. So, what is going to be the correct answer now? Mu is equals to 9.81 poise. Asked a question is into G, how many times the G value he is asking there? So, shall I write mu is equals to 9.81 1 into G and write together? 1 into G, that is 1 into acceleration due to gravity value is itself 9.8. So, what will be the correct answer now? How many times the G value is going to be the correct answer? Observe the options here. Twist the question again. He is not asking directly the value. He is asking in terms of what? In terms of how many times of G? Answer is 9.81. So, it is 1 times of 9.81 is going to become 9.81. So, the correct answer is going to become what? 1. Okay. Choose conduct sir. With the related much uh, new questions guys, we are going to be adding uh, some new promotions, some new chapter videos of hydraulics, kinematics is there, dynamics is there, turbines, pumps. Uh, these are the concepts which we need to memorize. If you memorize all these uh, units at one place, any sort of question is going to ask you, you should be able to answer it correctly. Okay, You try. Basics must be what, uh, uh, what clear. Once the basics are clear, every question you can definitely attempt with very each. 
okay last but not the least one more time offline classes for ae a w e civil students have already been started in the sai medha koti hyderabad already manaku batch start ayipindi morning classes timing vache sariki 6 am to 9 am 9:30 to 1 pm 2 pm to 6 pm session 2 lo non technical jarugutund ante session 3 lo technical untadi session 2 lo technical jarugute kachithanga session 3 lo manaku non technical this how every single day we are going to be what uh, spending time for both technical and as well as non technical class kuda ee vidhanga jarugutundi ante schedule cheppesina meeku first of all class untadi class ayipanaga bit to bit explanation untadi then revision for the topic and at last an exam you need to write every single day to know how much you have improvised your level okay i wish you all the best this is mohammed nizam signing off meeku ee detail kavalanna sare scrolling lo na mobile numbers ki contact cheyandi thank you very much guys